Like, I'm not saying that he doesn't, he, he can't have a say in this. We're not saying yeah. that. Yeah. Right. And the thing is that like, we're not asking you to be a part of our side. Uh, and when, it, when talking about our side, I'm talking about the gamers side, the side of the gamers. Right. And it's just, I feel like he's extremely out of touch. And, but, but I, I do want to bring up context for, for people who don't know what we're talking about. So over here, this comes to us from D day Cobra shout out to Jeremy. And, um, he said, Matt Walsh is the first person to highlight wokeness in video game industry. According to Matt Walsh clown. So, so let's go ahead. The video game it. industry, without a lot of fanfare, has transformed into a tool of both propaganda and surveillance. It's an effective way to indoctrinate children precisely because it hasn't received much attention and also because children spend, many of them, hundreds of hours a year, and that might be an undercount, That's a severe undercount, uh, uh, Hundreds of hours in a week. A year. <laughs> I, I, he's, he's, he's in a year. A year. I know. In a week, like I was a hundred hundred hours. It's more hundred hours, and we spend uh, thousands of hours a year. A year. Playing games, yep. man. Yep. Oh man. With this kind of content, so it should get it our get a lot of our attention. And now, finally, that attention is here, and it's yet another reason to keep these games as far away from your children as possible. And if you do that, games journalists, literally the lowest form of journalists on the planet, will accuse you of harassment. And that's exactly how you'll know that you're doing the right thing. So now what he said about it's finally getting our attention. I was, I, I, I'm like, so was he not around during Gamergate? Like 1.0? Probably not because he because, hates yeah. games anyway. Yeah, exactly. Right. It's like. He thinks games are works of the devil. So, why are you? Why is this suddenly important to you? So it's like, you sh if anything, he should be happy that these people are trying to sabotage the works of the devil. It's like he should, he should be he should be the cheerleader of sweet baby, in my opinion. He should be preaching. Yeah. Um, now he's he's, yeah, he's, he's 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 it's he's grifting really hard, which is frustrating. Yeah, and and I think it's like it, th this whole thing started like he didn't really talk about it until elon musk talked uh talk yeah about yeah right i wonder why right so if you actually go to um i think it was uh i let me actually bring it up uh let me go to our profile and he, uh elon musk uh he talked about sweet baby inc uh when he was uh when grums and cabrutus was on the quartering and then I believe someone in po in, in politics shared it. I forgot. It might, might have been James Lindsay. I believe he shared it. And then he basically said, uh, you know, woke shit should be removed from video games, yada, yada, or wh wh whatever it is. Right. So and then all of a sudden he makes a video the following day. Like, I, and I wonder why is that, that that that's important. Right. So it's I, I think because he's like you said, a lot of people, he's he's out of touch. So he's trying to griff off of this. And I believe. Him and I'm most of the people in Daily Wire, they don't really play video games at all. And if they do, they play the old stuff, right? They don't play the current day. So they're extremely out of touch. And it's sort of asking someone what they thought about like, like uh, computers. And the first and the only computers that they ever played was like the OG, like MacBook, like, like, like Macintosh, you know, like back in the 80s. Like that's all they know about it, right? And uh, things yep. have evolved. Like technology, video games, things move so fucking fast. It's like you have to keep up with it. And that's the reason why we feel like he's he's out of touch in terms of that way. And he's yeah, definitely someone said in the chat, ill informed. Right? Yep. So uh here here's one over here. Uh let me share this one over here. I don't like Ian's Miles Chong, but um he did share it over here. Um, this is the, so this is from Low Ping but Gayer. <laughs> so having failed to get a Brazilian guy banned from Steam to make him lose his Steam library, Sweet Baby Inc. Uh, Chris Kindred is now trying to get Capcom to remove Asmongold. So this this is, it have, goes back to the Asmongold thing. Now, Ian Miles Chong talked about game uh, uh, the video game stuff with uh, Sweet Baby Inc. because this all has to do with why Matt Walsh is talking about it, right? Yeah. Because Elon Musk said Sweet Baby Inc., is an evil blight on the gaming industry. All they do is make games terrible and try to cancel people. They cannot go broke soon broke enough. Broke soon enough. 
So the fact that Elon Musk, the one of the most richest man and the most influential man, it's probably the smartest man, you know, in terms of tech, uh, space stuff, like he's getting in on it, right? He's talking about it. And the thing is that Elon Musk does have a dog in this fight is because he plays games. He plays yep. Diablo. He was able to get a, his shitty ass drew it to level 89 and he was streaming it on X, which is pretty crazy. And drew it suck. I'm not sure they still suck, but they suck when he played it in season one. So he knows, and he's a dad. He has several kids. He has a bunch of jobs. So it's a lot of these games are actually catered, especially Diablo 4, is catered to people who are like Elon Musk, who's a dad. You know, he can only play a couple of time, play games a couple of times a day. Mm-hmm. And the reason why Elon Musk, it does make sense for him to talk about it because he knows what video game is. He's in that work. He's in that space. But how do you feel? Yeah, it's like um, it, the only thing, reason why Matt Walsh is in it or maybe the other people in the other Yeah, it's a, it's a trending topic and they want to slice. It's like, yeah, it's so disingenuous. But yeah, I, also the segment of Geeks and Gamers, Jeremy said if he had said like, it's in such, he could have still said it in such a way that it's still acceptable without backlash. Like, um, hey guys, maybe there's this thing. Uh, I know we don't, I don't have the best take in gaming or I don't really, I'm not really in the know in gaming. But there's a re- there's something going on in games that's um, there's this um, cynical um, agenda going on in video games, and I think it's time it's time we put a spotlight on. If he if he had his, had he said it that way, I think with um, the general public would have been a lot more accepting. But yeah, instead he's c- going in there and say, "Oh, video games are shit," but I'm gonna talk about it anyway. Like I'm like I'm an expert in the subject matter. It's like get the fuck out of here, dude. Go back to making documentaries about genders, man. Talk about what is a man. Something like that. Yeah. Yeah. So so now, now here's the thing. Um, so this guy, Greg Re, Greg R. E. I'm sure over here. He is the lawyer, previously head writer, Tucker Carlson tonight at Daily Wire. Okay. Okay. So he reached out to uh he reached out to Grums. And uh, yeah, be- yeah. I, I saw those uh snapshots, but I didn't really understand. But okay, okay, so so he reached it. out to he reached out to Grums and basically said, Hey, Matt covered Gamergate 2 and your clip of recent interview on the show today. Elon just posted the monologue, wanted to let you uh, wanted you to know that we're very interested in this story. Please keep us in mind if you have anything to add or any other ideas. Thanks a lot for your work. And thanks also to your work on StarCraft. My lock sound on my Tesla is the siege tank sound. So it's obviously struck a chord with me. So this is um, Grums, who used to work at Blizzard. He says, awesome. I may have some ideas. I see what you uh, want to wage is a piss war. It's so stupid. So basically, he talked about how like these gamers are getting, um, you know, people like Matt Walsh have started to get into uh, this, like talking about it. And he doesn't really know what he's talking about and, and stuff like that. So basically, he started all of a sudden completely just like start talking shit about him and he said matt said uh what he said about games i'm asking him to be open-minded now you are swearing at me and he replies with you wrote a snide comment really stupid comment too you you didn't ask him to be open-minded what a joke right so he, he he basically wrote that and uh and then right over here uh sure i did read my tech uh sorry read my tweet Right, uh, uh, it's not a secret that Matt doesn't like games. He mentions that repeatedly in his monologue. That doesn't pres- uh, preclude him from talking about the issue. You suggest it did. This is obnoxious, counterproductive, and stupid. This is not convincing me that the Daily Wire is not being uh, opportunistic when you so easily jump into insulting me. All right, buddy, you're a victim here. Right, take care. Basically said that, and this, this, this is basically what he wrote. The coverage of the ESG and S- uh, SBI's influence in gaming to push DEI is what finally is getting mainstream attention. And I don't see why it's controversial to say that the games are incredibly popular with kids and propag- uh, propagandize them. Your comment is essentially projection. You are accusing Matt of being uh, puritanical while at the same time trashing anyone who doesn't recite the precise history of Gamergate that you feel is all important. And this is highlighted right up here. One of the reasons mainstream pu- uh, publications don't bring more attention to this issue is how childish and frankly dumb a lot of you gamers are on all sides. You are a good example of the problem. 
So basically, this yeah. guy. Yeah, go ahead. Sorry. How do you feel? Yeah, there you go. It just shows you how these people are. They're just in it for the clout. There's in for oh, it's the trending topic right now on Twitter. Let's get in on it. But they don't really have a ground to stand on, or they don't really care about what's going on, actually going on, which which is why they're getting a lot of flack. It's because people know who you are, you guys are. You guys are just opportunistic scoundrels looking to next to get that ad revenue because of it's a trending topic. You, you're not really mm -hmm. in it to actually defend gamers. You're in it to get the money out of the trending topic. And you can yeah. clearly it shows with those DMs that yeah, you actually oh we don't like video games. We're we gonna stand up for you gamers, you loser gamers. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh get get out man. Get out. Disgusting yeah, so people. basically, um, Grums was talking about it with uh, the quartering, and quartering was talking back, and then uh, I guess this person uh, basically blocked everyone. So uh, Lauren Chen, shout out to Lauren Chen, and she's like super based, and um, she uh, hangs out in uh, Canada. Uh, Matt, since Matt Walsh got criticism for his anti-video game stance and how he handled his segment on Sweet Baby Inc., one of his producers has been having a Gamergate level meltdown within a few hours. Greg has demeaned the Grums, blocked the quartering and D-Day Cobra and called gamers childish and stupid. And he says, all sides, right? The thing is that yep. why would you want to talk to us if you're saying that we're all childish uh, man babies? Exactly, exactly. Why the like, fuck would just, you, why, it, why, it why would we talk to you? It just shows how disingenuous you are. It's like, like, uh, handshake on the mm. left side, knife on the, at the back on the right. Let's yep. Posts like this kind of proves his point. The space is dominated by so many stupid people that they can't even comprehend the content of a 20-second clip. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and the thing is, uh, this guy is insane. And, um, of course, Matt Walsh is playing the victim here, right? Says, I have to say, I've been a target of some extremely unreasonable backlashes in, in the past. But this is one probably the most ridiculous yet. Uh, this time, people are mad that I talked about an issue in the news. Apparently, I have no right to discuss it because I am not in the club. Truly the dumbest outrage I've ever encountered in my life. And man, is that really saying something. Uh, he talked about anime, calling it satanic and demonic. Now he's basically saying that gaming is a waste of time and people should stop playing video games and stuff like that. Uh, he clearly does not know what escapism is. And the thing is that I'm pretty sure Matt Walsh he, he does know that video game is over a hundred billion dollar industry. It's yeah. It's more than music and movies combined. It's the highest right? form of, it's the most profitable form of entertainment globally. Yeah. And especially so, during COVID, like it popped off even harder mm -hmm. during COVID. Now, mm -hmm. the thing is that we're calling you out because you're out of touch. Now, if you came out instead of basically bashing, Oh, we should just, um, we should stop playing video games all, you know, you should stop playing video games because it's going to be woke anyways. Don't play video games. Bitch, no. This game is for... Th this, this, the, the gaming industry, whether you whether it's woke or not, is for everyone, right? It's supposed to be inclusive to everyone. We're not going to fucking just lie down with our dicks hanging out. Let these fucking woke bitches take it over. And that's the reason why we have to call them out whenever there's bullshit like that and praise games that are, you know, good. And games that are, sh that, that, that are actually bringing, you know, making gaming great again, right? And if he came, if Matt Washka actually came out and was like, I understand, I don't really understand why, but this is something that we need to fight back. This is something that we need yeah, to talk more about. Right? Like, if he said that, he's like, hey, I don't really have a dog in this fight, but uh, clearly this is huge. And I want this to be known that we should actually have more say in what goes into our video games is because a lot of this woke shit does not belong in video games. If he said that, yeah. Yeah. no one would have said anything. Yep. In actuality, yeah. it's like, it, that would have been a double E for us. Oh, wow. Matt Walsh having a good gaming take. <laughs> what a surprise. That's what probably we'd, we, we'd be, we would be saying right now. But no, he's like, he, he, he had the worst take possible. I, it's like, like I said, it's like, for me, it would have made more sense had he sided with Sweet Baby. Like, yeah, destroy the works of the devil. I, I, I'm a fan of that. I hate video games. That would have been more on brand with him, with his career. That would have been more on brand with it. With, that would have been Matt Walsh being Matt Walsh. But said he grifts left and right looking for the next big opportunity for him that will make him the most money, which is disgusting.
And yeah, you don't have any principles, in my opinion. Yep. And here's the thing. Look, I the thing is that I, I know Matt Walsh, he Matt Walsh is a smart guy, but not in this topic. Yep. He's out of his depth. He's out of yeah, his league like, when it comes down to yeah, this, right? Yeah. Like it's, it's it's like me it's like preaching, telling surgeons how to perform surgery when I've never studied a single medic anything medical science in my life. Like that that's how it feels. That's how it feels. Yeah. And and the thing is that like like us as gamers, we're not telling him that you can't talk about this is because you know, like it's because you know nothing about it. We're not saying that. It's like just do a little bit more research, have a little bit more, you know, like hey, what you said was wrong, you know, because because I do have this thing to share. So I actually I recommend to say have some humility, Matt. You said this back in 2018. Video games are a sacred cow to uh, in this country, and I'm tired of it. Our country is filled with adults who are obsessed with them, so we must all pretend insanely. That there's nothing wrong with or disturbing about a child spending all day killing people in a virtual world. Of course, it's harmful to the child and it's harmful to anyone, adults included. Will it automatically make a kid into a mass shooter? No. And nobody in the world has ever said that. Bitch, what about Columbine? Columbine, this happened in the fucking 90s during the Clinton fucking regime. And there were kids went into the fucking school and killed a bunch of people. Because of, and then they blamed it on Doom. Whether or not it's true, they probably blame. It's like, oh, the reason why people are doing all these is because of video games. The, re, the reason yep. that this this shit's been happening since the fucking nineties, man. And it's, yep. and he says no, and nobody in the world has ever made that claim. I'm not sure if this is fucking facetious or he's fucking making making a fucking smart remark. But I don't read it like that. But it is harming him, and we need to face that fact. Now, here's the thing. Have some humility and say what I said back then. I did. I just. I clearly did not understand the gaming sphere. I still don't understand the gaming sphere. There's a lot of people who are in it, and I would like to bring someone on to talk to talk about gaming more, and then bring on someone who actually knows more. Bringing on Grums would have been a perfect person, right? But the thing is that you came out and just talk, and talk shit about it, and then yep. now your producer is basically talking shit about every, everything. And this yep. is why, like, they're hard, traditional, conservative Republicans, these guys. Yeah. And they're the ones who basically said, uh, you know, cover up people, you know, don't have boobs in video games, no blood in video games. They are the th they are those people. They are the ones who basically said uh, Dungeons and Dragons is uh, fucking satanic and all, all that shit. They're the ones who've been saying it. And I got I got to get him props for that. He's sticking to his guns. And he's this is a hill that he's willing to die on. And we're all here for it. And the thing is that it's funny because we're all just calling him. You're, you're just grifting all of this, man. Like just because Elon yeah. Musk is talking about it, you're just grifting, dude. Yeah, yeah. It's like that. That's a that's probably the part where people are outraged. Over. It's like suddenly it's a concern. It's not supposed to be a concern for you, man. You you want video games to fail. That that's your brand. But all of a sudden it's it's an issue. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, yeah. Like, like, like he was being interviewed, and he was like, "Oh, anime is demonic." I think, I think everything, mm -hmm. all of it. Mm -hmm. It's not even specific ones. It's yeah, right. all of it. A blanket yep. statement. Gamers are fucking idiots, man, babies. No one should be playing video games. Go outside and touch grass. Don't watch fucking anime. Now you have the anime community and the video game community, which is fucking huge, coming after you. And oh, why, why am I getting attacked all of a sudden? It's like, bitch, because you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Talking about, yes. It's like you don't like you don't know what the hell you're talking about, and that's the reason why the anime and gaming community is coming after you, Matt Wash. Yeah, man. Yo, what's going to hypnotic? How's it going, dude? What's Whoa. happening, man? Hope you're doing well, dude. Yo, thirty-four thousand. Congrats, dude. Congrats. That's huge. Thirty-four thousand subscribers. That's fucking nice. Crazy. Yo, uh, Melodic Method says, I appreciate, with $20, holy shit. I appreciate you guys laying out the GG2 and Walsh drama. Uh, I was unaware of Twisted, uh, how Twisted the Story was. I respect, yo, thank you, thank, thank you. Yeah, um, thank you, thank you. You don't have, you didn't have to super chat that or anything, but like, yeah, for, for, for you guys who are hanging out, you didn't have to super chat. I usually go through the comments and read as much as I can anyways. But, uh, but yeah, but yo, thank you so much for the 20. Holy shit, man, you didn't have to do that. Appreciate it. But yeah, um. Like, like I, I, yeah, thirty five thousand. Damn, last time I saw you were at thirty four. Jeez, man, killing it. 
killing yeah, it. Yeah, awesome, dude. It's fucking awesome. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I like I, I told this to my wife yesterday about the Matt Walsh thing, and she was like, he still has the right to talk about it. And and I was like, yo, I I I know he does, but he doesn't. And and I told I showed him that I showed him that meme of um that guy with the skateboard. He's like, how are you doing, fellow gamers? And it's like an old guy. <laughs> <laughs> it's like if you guess I, I forgot what his name chat 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 will tell me but basically um he goes how are you fellow kids you know it's from like a adam sandler movie or something like that and it's like <laughs> an old guy trying to be young it's like yeah he, he doesn't know what he's talking about so yeah it'll be it will be funny if his next his next uh documentary will be um what is a gamer <laughs> <laughs> what is what a gamer, gamer? Yeah, uh, Steve Buscemi. Yeah, there it is. Thank you, thank you, Steve Buscemi. Yeah, just like clockwork, everyone's like Steve Buscemi. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah, a, a big Z video games. We're still going. Yep, we're still going. We still going. So great. You know that meme I'm talking about, right? I have an idea, but yeah, you, you can show it if you want. Uh, hold on, let me see. It 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 it's, it basically goes. Uh, is this one right over here? So basically, he's trying to blend in like he's in high school, and he's like, he was like basically, saying, "How you do? How how do you do, fellow kids?" <laughs> ah. <laughs> so it'll be Matt Walsh would be like, "How do you do, fellow gamers?" <laughs> it's just like it's like that. Oh man, he should do that. What is a gamer would be hilarious. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Yeah, he'd be watch more that. educated in that. He'll be more educated. I'd I'd finally, we'd finally use the subscription apart from ballers. <laughs> Thanks for checking out this segment of the Project Egg Row podcast. If you like what we do here, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and you will know next time when we go live. We do go live every Saturday at 8 p.m. Once again, we are just getting started. Tons of more video to come. Thanks, and we'll see you guys next time.